It's so interesting that you say about greed, because I don't think I've spoken so much about that before, but it is an interesting topic, like the the wanting the more, more, more. And I suppose that does create a lot of suffering in a way, doesn't it? Well, it creates a lot of suffering. It creates a lot of um, uh, confusion. It creates a lot of compromise. It's like I, I was once teaching in New York City at this place called Tibet House, mm. um, uh, which is actually an art gallery. It's more like an art gallery, and then they have events, so like teachings and so on. So I taught many classes there, and um, there were different exhibits around all the walls, you know, hanging. And so I gave once an example of an out loud demonstration of a, greed, a greedy mind. You know, and I say, I was sitting up on the stage, and I said, well, I see, you know, that, um, wall hanging over there, Tibetan Tonka wall hanging. Can't see the price, but I see the wall hanging. And so I go into this whole thing like, I really want that. Okay, I'm going to buy it. I'm going to own it. And then I remember that, in, in truth, I was living in New York City in a tiny little sublet apartment, and I was not allowed to hang anything on the walls. So then I thought, I've got to move. I've got to get another apartment so I can ha I can buy the wall hanging, I can hang it, you know. I need special lights, and I need to, you know, emphasize it this way, and I need to highlight that. And, but while I'm at it, I might as well get a bigger apartment because this apartment is like so tiny. And then I realized that in order to afford, in order to afford a yet bigger apartment in New York City, I was never going to be able to be in New York City. I was always going to have to travel and teach and lecture and do all these things all around the, really the world. And so I realized, okay, I will never be in New York. I'll never see my wall hanging but i'll own it you know wow. so that's the kind of mind state we get into we don't think what am i giving up mm. in order to have this experience is it actually what i want to do is give this up who am i hurting mm. you know there's no end of stories about people who ruin their relationships because of ambition of some kind mm. um you know, so in all cases, it's like if we could just step back and take a look. We can see for ourselves where the greatest happiness lies. Mm -hmm.